Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is David here. Today I will be showing you how to downgrade any PSP from version 635 and all the way up to 6.6 .6 down to 620 or 635. Now, um, the reason you would downgrade a 635 rather than 620 is if you have the newest chipset um, motherboard PSPs, which are usually the PSP Street and a couple PSP 3000s, You'll know if it gives you an MD5 checksum error. Um, well, anyways, before we start off, I'm going to say this does work on every PSP, but um, don't blame me if something happens to your PSP. All right, I'm not. I will not be held responsible for um, you know, if anything happens to your PSP. All right. So to start off, you're going to want to download the downgrader.zip, which I will provide a file for, link for in the description. Now, um, you're going to want to open it up, go inside PSP, game, and extract it using WinRAR or any other file archiving software. So here we have our downgrader. And you want, you're going to want to create a new folder and name it update in all caps. Now, you, we need to select which firmware we are going to want to downgrade to. Um, so, if you want to downgrade a 635, um, or you know, make sure what um, you know which PSP you have. Every PSP is a 635, but the ones that are labeled Go are only for PSP Go. So, here I all these um, will be in the description as well. Just choose which one you need. So I'm I'm I have a PSP 1000 that is on version 6.60. So I want to downgrade to 620. So I would get this one. If I wanted to downgrade to 635, I'll get this one. And if I had a PSP Go, I'd get this one or this one, depending what firmware I want. All right. So you're going to um copy and paste it inside the update folder we just made. We're going to want to rename the um the file to eboot. So once we have that out of the way, we can connect our PSP into USB mode. Once you have your PSP connected, go into PSP game, and you're going to want to copy downgrader and update into your game folder. So we'll just let that copy over. Alright, once you have that copied over, I will meet you at the PSP. Alright, so once that you're back at your PSP, disconnect from USB mode. And you're going to want to go to your game section and ignore that. Here you should see um the 620 downgrader. And there you see your update, but you can't run the update. If you try to run it, you'll get this error. So you're going to want to run the downgrader. So here you will be greeted by this menu. Your PSP model is 1G, okay. That's what it said. You're going to want to press X to run the installation. It's going to check for your update file that you put in there. And check if it corresponds with your PSP. Which mine did, so let me go ahead and press X. Once the updater starts, just go ahead and do it like you would do any other update. And press X to commence. I will stop recording here and I will con record again once it finishes. Okay, so it has just finished. Um, press X. And your PSP should reboot. Alright, if your PSP does this, don't worry. Um, all you have to do is press circle. And it should reboot again. It takes a little while to reboot um, when you do this, so don't worry there either. It's normal. 
Alright, so when you get this, pretty much you know you've done it right. I'll skip the setup for now. There you go. Your PSP version should be 6.20 or 6.35 depending on what you chose. Alright, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later for more videos.